Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you guys can see by the title down there, we are doing a fast, fast, no, a face mask review. I don't know if you guys remember, but this video went viral a couple years ago. It was of this girl. Uh, she was wearing like a mask. It was a black mask she got from Amazon. It was really hard for her to take off. So I decided to pick it up. So I wanted to see how well this mask performed. Now this is the Acne Purifying Peel Off Black Mask. It smooths skin's texture. This is the packaging right here. It comes with 50 milliliters of product. It says cleanse desired area and pat dry, leaving skin, da skin damped. Uh, apply a medium to thick layer on desired area. Make sure to avoid eyebrows, hairline, eye area, and lips leave for 20 to 30 minutes or until fully dry and peel off gently re gently starting from bottom peeling upwards and it comes with a little plastic brush like this it's like a little spatula that you can use to apply it which i mean it can come really handy i'm gonna try it today and see you guys know that my favorite one is the real techniques one um, so I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys kind of like can see my skin. Now I am supposed to start you know, that time of the month. I do have a couple of imperfections coming through right over here. I do have a blackhead right here that I have not been able to like take out. And then I do have a couple ones on my nose. Please excuse my brows. I need to actually like groom them today. But this is a more close up of my skin. Like I said, I have a couple ones right here. I can barely move because I decided to get some roller skates for my birthday. I went to my sister's house on Thursday. I'm going to start putting this on. And I went to my sister's house on Thursday. And I took my skates because I wanted to practice on the park at the park. That's like literally like a minute from my sister's house. So I wanted to like practice at the park and I was actually pretty confident um, somewhat like when practicing like at my in-laws and like practicing here at home because it's like smooth surface um, but the park park was another story let me tell you obviously it had like the boardwalk it had um, like it was like a space and then it had that like line to like separate each, I don't know, like concrete block. And so I was practicing my niece, my nephew, my mom and my sister were there with me. And I I don't know why, like I lost my balance because I passed one of the like lines of the concrete and I landed like I bounced on my butt and I literally felt my whole like actual like. Um, what's it called like my spine it like vibrated like I felt my spine vibrate it was I started crying I had like a a little panic attack because <laughs> I got so scared I got scared that like I actually like busted my spine because of how it felt <sighs> and my sister she like stretched my legs and like make sure that like I I didn't need to go to the ER and I'm fine like I just I need to be really careful with like bending down because that's when I feel like the pool so yeah I just need to be really careful with bending down and hopefully next week I can go back on my skates and keep practicing but like not at the park yet but yeah it felt like it still hurts like I said I can't bend down I actually prefer, uh, prefer my brush, my Real Techniques brush. I'm gonna set a timer on my phone just so that I can see how long it takes to dry and I'll let you know. Cause it does say 20 to 30 minutes. <sighs> but yeah, that was my story. And like now I'm a little bit in pain. So um, one of my best friends, she actually did like bruised her tailbone and she was like bedridden for like months um and she did let me know like you need to like if it keeps hurting like you need to go and get check it out i don't know i'm gonna wait a couple days and see how 
like the pr like the progress of the pain my camera's not focusing on me <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna see how my pain does within a couple of days um if it keeps hurting or the pain gets really really bad i'm just gonna go ahead and go to the doctor just to make sure that i have everything in place and like nothing like moved or anything or i didn't like actually messed up my spine somehow i'm gonna go ahead and eat something because i'm starving and i'll be right back it's been 30 minutes on the dot and i can see a couple of spots that are not as um what's it called as dried as the rest of my face but i can't move and it's already like peeling the more i talk so it's set to start from down upward um and i need a i need a napkin to like Like this part is not completely dry. Wow, <laughs> that like made my eye teary eye. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take off. I mean the rest I can take it off with warm water so I'm just gonna I'm not sure if the girl put on like a really thick uh, layer of it. My skin feels so smooth. I mean, it does hurt a bit. Ah, it hurts so much. Also, if you have a lot of peach fuzz on your face, do not try this because I hardly have any peach fuzz, but I can only imagine if it's like hurting right now to take it off. I can only imagine if you have peach fuzz on your face. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna go ahead and go and rinse my face with warm water and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is how my skin looks. I see a huge difference in the redness of my skin right here on my cheeks. You guys know that that's like my problem area. But overall, my skin feels really, really smooth. The blemishes right here, I feel like they look a little bit re less red. And I mean, overall, I really like... It was a little painful to take off, but I really like how my skin feels. Now, I don't know if I'm going to use it like once a week. Maybe I'll use it like once every two weeks. <laughs> Just so that I don't suffer so much with like peeling it off. Overall, I really, really like how my skin feels, how it looks. It looks, it looks less red and it definitely feels super smooth. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the little button down there. As always, the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys on the next one.